Hey guys, we're back with the next episode of Skies of Arcadia Legends. Uh, we were grinding up some to get Gilder up to a high level, although hopefully we can switch back to Enrique if that's possible. I don't remember if that's a possibility or not. Um, but yeah, we're going to hit it back to Crescent Island and see what is what we're going to do to save the world. So I'm going to go west because that looks a little bit closer. And we're going to go slightly south. But Vice is also on his last magic, which is silver, which is the hardest one. But I think it's still only, he's already at five still, so that's good. But everybody else is full, except for Gilder, obviously, because he's, you know. That's his warning. Oh, I passed it. There you go. I haven't turned my fast speed off either. <laughs> Let's switch back to my captain's hat as well. I can't lose my attack. Plus 41 defense would be good, but... And you kept this right. Bruh, look, double my hit percent. He ain't been dropping no eaves though. Look, how'd they get Fina back in the wall? <laughs> they blew out the wall. What? Sure excuse. Yep, I'm the greatest explorer in history. Hey. 
I don't need a white map. Thanks, guy. There's still one more thing to discover, though. What are we doing? Like, did we come here to... Power for me. Um, a will for you. I could have the bigger too. Like uh, abandoned reason for madness. Where is Fina? She's not up here. I mean, Ica. Ica's not here. Fina's not over here. Nothing new. I mean, I guess we're going. Okay, we're just going over there. I thought we had to come back to Crescent Island, but I guess not. Frodo Baggins.
on, here we are. Got a force field. Mm, don't hit force fields, brah. What's wrong? Why did we stop? I remember hearing about a dome of light. Dome of light? Yes, it is an ancient defense mechanism. It is able to protect soldiers from gigas. The machine is using it to protect himself from us. We've got to find a way through it. <laughs> the dumb light is impenetrable. Not even the dumb Venus can touch us. Ramirez, I believe the world needs a demonstration of our power. As you wish. Valua could use a little rain. Silver Giga Zelos, obey my command. Call forth the rays of destruction from the yellow moon. No. Yeah, it is. He's doing the yellow gigas. Y'all better get in north. Is that an eclipse? No, it's the end of days. The moon looks rather odd, wouldn't you say? Who cares about the moon? We're late for a party and I'm simply looking ravishing in my new dress. Bless. Your Majesty, perhaps you'd be more comfortable sitting. Let's look. Look at the moon. Yep. Yeah, Gonzo. Um, Urukai. Yep, um, that's death to the queen. I'm sorry. Empress, whatever she is. You're on your own, Empress. I'm getting out of here. Ghosts, has got me out at once. Why do you need an escort? Run. Mm, she dead. Enrique, hang on. Don't worry about me, just go. The Grand Vultures is, is still standing in the trap. Lisa.
Everyone now also bow before me. The world is mine. Prince Enrique. Oh. Your Majesty, you're alive. Lisa. Lisa, I, I thank you. Thank you for saving my life. There's no need to thank me. It's a miracle that either of us is alive. Valo, what happened to Valo? Are the people alright? Lisa, Lisa, what happened? They dead, bruh. Who do your mother? What? Mm, good thing we got Marcos out of here, huh? Grand Fortress is down to No, it can't be. It's not real. It can't be real. Lisa, please, please tell me that this is all just a bad dream. Prince Enrique, I'm sorry. I can't believe they actually used the reins of destruction. Fina, Vice, maybe we should head back to Crest Island and take a minute to regroup. We can't do anything against the soldiers right now anyway. You're right, I really hate to do this, but it looks like we have no choice but to just head home for now. <laughs> Shut up. Can we go pick up Enrique, huh? They probably all think Enrique is dead. Look, isn't my joint so cute? <laughs> Mio game, I'm afraid the Galatian used the Rens of Destruction on Valua. What? But what about Enrique? Is he. Yep, they think he's dead, see? No, he, he can't be. Vice. If we don't do something soon, Galatia will destroy the world one island at a time. We have to stop him. I know, I'm working on it. How are we supposed to stop him? His base is an entire continent. There's a shield around it. Look, like there's not much to do except take on Galatia himself. We can't even get to him. Damn, there's nothing we can do. Hmm. Oh, yes, there is. Andre Enrique. I'll leave you guys alone for a few days and you're ready to surrender? Enrique, you're alive. Enrique! Miyagi, it's alright. I'm okay. I was so worried about you. 
We were in Valois when the rains hit, but Lisa saved me. I owe her my life. My mother and so many others were killed. We can't let this happen again. We must stop Galatia. But how? Lord Galatian wants to rule the world, not destroy it. Valois was just an example. Now that he's made his example, he can demand allegiance from all the other countries. He will send his armada to each of the countries as a show of force and demand they surrender. He will most likely go with them. You're right. Once he's at the base, he will we'll have a shot at him. Vice, I know that you aren't too keen on giving up, but we need to be realistic here. There's no way Delgiza can take in Galatia's entire fleet. He's right. If we fought him alone, you would lose. But there has to be a way. We can't just give up. Damn it. Hey. Andre Drachma. What's wrong with you, boy? No matter what happens, I'll never get up. You tell me a lot once. Or have you forgiven already? That voice. Hey, Captain. Boy, it's been a long time. Captain. Solstice is the root of all our problems. We've got to send that place back to Deep Sky, where it belongs. But, we don't stand a chance against the entire armada. Well, Fida, have you gotten about me already? Hey, this is what happens when you help everyone instead of destroy everyone. Clara, don't forget I'm in our air power too. Can't just sit around and let Galatian take over the world. That new continent has driven away all the food. Now I don't have any customers. Well, enough reason for me to fight. <sighs> what else we got? Oh, we got same time. Vice, I heard what was going on. We must fight together for the future of this world. Woo -hoo. Hmm. Can't believe I'm doing this. This is Baltor. Didn't we kill him? <laughs> Baltor? Don't get the wrong idea. I'm only helping you because I hate Galatian more than I hate you. As soon as he, we kick his ass, I'm coming after you. Diego, if there's a fight to be fought, then you can count us in. The Tinkow. You saved our country, now it's time to return the debt of honor. We, the Tinkow, will also aid you. Vice. With this many ships, we may stand a chance against the Armada. Ica, just because we're a little late, don't count us out. It's dead. <laughs> then Albatross too. <laughs> I love this dumb game. <laughs> Vice, you don't quite... You've done quite a bit of growing since I last saw you. If you have this many allies, you must be quite a captain. I'm proud of you, son. Thank you. Oh, that that's proud. All right, Captain, we await your orders. Okay. <gasps> so exciting, Goosebumpy. We can't let Galatian get away with this. We about to whoop him. I need my headphone back. These things are too long. Why are they so long? <laughs> we need to take back the skies and free the world. Let's go. Let's go! Tonight, I want everyone to rest up. Tomorrow, we make history. Looks like this is it. I think I'm gonna like it. I think I'm gonna like it here. Oh, poor Belisa. I mean, he loves a monster. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate, boo. Who could be... Who could it be at this time of night? Smeevice. Lisa, what are you doing here at this time of... I've come to say goodbye. Goodbye? You're not going to fight with us? I'm afraid not. You can't expect me to fight my own man. And besides, there's something else that I have to take care of. Something else? That reminds me, I took a peek into Ike and Fina's rooms earlier. Neither of them were there. Huh? Are you serious? They are probably unable to sleep, you know, the night before battle. They aren't as tough as they pretend to be. A good captain would find them and comfort them. <laughs> Alright, I'll check up on them. Huh, <laughs> I figured you would. Well then, I must be on my way. I know you're going to be a great leader and try not to break too many hearts. Goodbye, Vice. Goodbye, Vice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, what's Phenon in doing, huh? No, oh, Fina hangs out above her head. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, girl, hey. Fina? Nice. Can't sleep? I, I tried to, but I couldn't stop thinking about Ramirez. I grew up with him. My my whole life. We were always together. We were best friends. It's it's hard to think that now I'm going to have to fight him. And one of us will die tomorrow. As a still fight, it's my duty, but... Vina. Vice, I have, I have one thing to ask of you. Please stay by my side. If you're at my side during tomorrow's battle, I know I'll be able to fight him. You're a great leader. I know you will inspire me. Thank you. Feel better now? Yes. Having you here means a lot to me. Can we stay like this a little longer? Sure, my love. See, they're love. See what up, what up, but I go. She saw me and Fina hugging. She's jealous. Aika, what you doing, girl? Hey, Aika. Oh, hey, Vice. It looked like you were talking to Fina. How's she doing? She seemed a little worried about tomorrow. Hmm, Fina too, huh? I don't know. I crawled under bed, but I couldn't sleep. Maybe I'm just scared. <laughs> this isn't like me, I guess. <laughs> don't worry about it. I'm scared too. Tomorrow's gonna be our toughest battle yet. Really? I didn't think you ever got scared. It's because I... Being placed in charge of tomorrow's assault doesn't mean that I'm not afraid of anything anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. We've been through so much, and I guess it's hard for me to remember you as a kid next door. It makes me feel a little better that I'm not the only one who's scared around here. There's a lot riding on tomorrow's battle. I guess it's normal to be scared. I feel the same way. Hey, I'll bet Galatian is scared too. Haha, <laughs> I bet he is. I feel so much better now. Maybe I'll be able to get some sleep. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Jealousy. Thanks, Vice. We're gonna make history tomorrow. Good night. You better not oversleep. Your dad's here, remember? Uh huh. Um. Um. Love triangle. <laughs> bum bum. I still think he'd pick Fina. I'm partial to Reddit, so I pick Ika and my longtime best friend. But I think Vice would pick Fina. Can we get going or what? Bye bye. Hey, Gonzalez, remember always please watch over us at our times of need.
got very sentimental, didn't it? Oh, so sweet. We got two more charms, you guys. Aye, aye, Captain, let's go. Skies are clear, and we've got the wind behind us. Considering we're about to enter a battle over the fate of the world, the weather's pretty good. Hurry up and give us command to attack. My men are getting restless. Dude, stop wasting your ammo. This is the longest they've gone without attacking someone. They're getting jumpy. Why the Primrose waste your command? We're, wait we're ready to fight. And take good care of Gilder. The Albatross 2 is ready when you are, son. Captain Vice, we're ready for some action. We've got a personal score to settle with the Armada. Captain Gilder will take care of the Claudia while you're gone. We'll try and get her back to you in one piece. The Ironclad isn't much a warship, but it's the most maneuverable ship in the fleet. We're also hoping that they underestimate us. Don't worry about a thing, Vice. The Tinkow and the rest of the Vitoma Navy are right behind you. Now that's an addition right there. This is gonna be good. Hey, Captain. Oh boy, let's get moving. Our bouquet here is ready for action. Vice, the Delphinus is ready when you are. Gilder, can you get off my shoulder? This day will always be remembered. How it remembered is up to us. Right here, right now, let's make history. Now that's a fleet. That's an armada. Alright, I'm gonna end this episode here. Oh, I am, or, or I'm not. I guess. <laughs> I didn't know we were getting right into it. Mm, the Hydra. What a beauty. Bye. First, my first stop is Nassar. Since we've already destroyed Nassar, I will beg for mercy, especially after what we did to Valois. My lord, shall I accompany you? It is not necessary. If any countries resist, I shall destroy them with the rains. I need you here to defend Solstice and to command Zero to the rain down our, en our enemies. A wise decision. My lord, an unknown fleet of ships is headed this way at attack speed. Can I identify the fleet, but leading the charge is the Delphinus. Yeah, we're here. So the air pirates have come to challenge me. It saves me the trouble of hurting, hunting them down. I shall purge the skies of their kind forever. A glitching, perhaps I should go as well. Nah. But we can't lose sources. Return at once. Don't worry. The Hydra will dispose of them. Air pirates. It will rain today, indeed. The skies shall weep with your blood. All ships full speed ahead. Destroy air pirates. Destroy every last one of them. Look at this thing. It's ridiculous. The Ahmad is closing fast. Right battle station. This is it. Full speed ahead. Can I save and stop here? No. <laughs> I'm still gonna stop here um, and start the next episode uh, so hey appreciate you so much for hanging out with me playing this awesome game with me uh, as you can see we're in the end game now uh, so probably not more than five or six more episodes before game over um, when game over and we win so till next time thanks so much for hanging out uh, if you like you watch my other videos and um, you know just we'll see you next time huh peace Dun, dun, dun. Peace, 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 peace. <laughs>